Hi everybody, uh, our case today is about uh, patients who is old age presented with loss of appetite and loss of weight with change in the color of the skin. He is 71 years old male presented with loss of appetite and loss of weight about 6 kilos within 3 months. The patient also has change in the color in the skin and also has easy fatigability and the shortest of breath on uh, exertion. Uh, the patient uh, has infrequent bowel motion. Now on examination of the patient, as we see here, Haji, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. Shalom Sahar. Ismahan and Fahsat, inshallah. Allah help the Haji Wad, inshallah. He is old age, male, conscious, alert, lying, comfortable in the bed. He is of low body bulk and he is not in respiratory distress. The positive findings in the examination, he, he has color of the skin and the mucous membrane, he has a flattening of the nails, and also he has soft abdomen, non organomegaly and a clear chest. And he has no adenopathy. For the examination of the anemia, we have to examine the skin, and the mucous membrane. As we see here, from the examination of the hand of the patient, he has color of the palmar cases. Of course, I have to compare the, the color of the patient palmar cases with my hand, but because of the present uh, COVID-19, I can't, okay? And also, he has flattening of the nails, which is the sign of what is called cholinicia. On the examination of the eye, the patient has color of the mucous membrane of the conjunctiva, as we see here. Also, examination of the mouth, tahtam hajjihaybi, as we see here, it has, okay, hajjihaybi. Uh, also, color uh, of the mucous membrane. And uh, for this patient, who is old age man, he has uh, pallor, he has loss of weight and loss of appetite, so he has anemia. I want you to comment for the possible differential diagnosis for the type of anemia, and what are the further biochemical tests are done, and further invasive tests can be done to diagnose the cause for this patient of anemia. And if we diagnose this type of anemia, what do you suggest for the treatment? So, as a case scenario for this uh, patient, uh, history is uh, 71 years old male, retired, was a teacher from Baghdad, Muslim, married, having five uh, kids. The chief complaint for this patient is easy with fatigability for uh, 14 days duration and the history of illness the condition started three months ago when he developed progressive loss of appetite and the gradual loss of weight about six kilos within the three months associated with infrequent bowel motion further steps and uh, the questions in the uh, history i will ask you about them and I uh, did investigations for this patient. These investigations uh, showing uh, CBC, all the points uh, were normal, except hemoglobin was 7.5 gram per deciliter, and MCV was 65 femtoliter, TSP was uh, 0.8 milligram per deciliter, serum creatinine was 0.9 milligram per deciliter, blood urea was 38 milligram per deciliter. I want you to share your opinion. Uh, if you are uh, in the third class, if you are a third class uh, student, then I want you to answer these two questions. What are the further points in history that you should ask this patient regarding history of illness, review of other systems, and regarding further parts of history related to his condition? The other question is, what is the difference between the colinicae and the conicae?
and I want you to mention two differential diagnoses for each one. If you are a student in the fourth class, I want you to answer the previous questions in the last slide in addition to the following questions. Depending on the history and clinical findings, there is a step in the abdominal examination not mentioned in the video but should be done. What is this step and why? The other questions, I uh, hope if you answer it. For this patient, what are the further biochemical tests, tests and other investigations that are needed for diagnosis? Now, if you are in the sixth class student, if you are in the sixth class, I want you to answer the previous questions in addition to the following. Uh, first one, depending on the history, clinical findings and his investigations, what is the most likely diagnosis and how will you treat him? The other question, is it important to examine the legs for patient with anemia and CBC results like that of the patient? I mean, a patient came to you and has anemia with the CBC results similar to these of this patient. It's important to examine the legs and why. Thank you.